Hello guys, welcome to Physics Inside. In this video, we will discuss about UV visible spectroscopy. So let's start. This spectroscopy is named as UV visible spectroscopy because the incident light used in this spectroscopy lies in ultraviolet and visible region. When the light falls on the molecules, they absorb energy in form of ultraviolet or visible light to excite these electrons to higher anti-bonding molecular orbitals. There are four types of these electronic transition as shown sigma to sigma star, n to sigma star, pi to pi star, n to pi star. Here sigma n and pi are bonding molecular orbitals and sigma star and pi star are anti-bonding molecular orbitals. When light is incident, electrons get excited to higher anti-bonding molecular orbitals. Now, this is the most simple setup of the UV visible spectrometer. So here is a source and these four things combinedly act as a source which give a wavelength in intervals means at a particular time we are getting a light of particular wavelength we can decide the steps in which we want to take data means we can define the tell lambda in the computer when we are using this spectrometer uh, this is our sample actually this is a qubit in which we, we will place our sample so when the light passes from this sample some part of light get absorbed and this absorbance is detected by this detector and we get our results in this spectroscopy so now the question is how much light is absorbed by this sample actually according to Beer Lambert's law the absorbance of the sample is directly proportional to concentration and the length of the sample means here the length here L represents the length of the qubit means the length of the qubit is equal to the length of the sample and C is the concentration of the sample we are using and this alpha is the constant of proportionality or absorption coefficient we can calculate this absorption coefficient to knowing the absorbance so this absorption coefficient is equal to A by CL means alpha is absorbance per unit concentration per unit length so now, what are the uses of the UV visible spectroscopy? UV visible spectroscopy can be used in the characterization. Uh, like we have already discussed that there are four types of uh, electronic transition that we can analyze in this spectroscopy. It is not compulsory that every sample shows all four transition. It depends on the type of sample which we are using and which transition it exhibits. So. So using this transition property, we can use UV visible spectroscopy for the characterization purpose. We can also use UV visible spectroscopy to determine the concentration of the sample and the band gap of the sample, which we will discuss in future. So thank you for watching. Please like if you like the video and subscribe for more such videos. Thank you.